Welcome to the Bruno Brothers for Cheese 101. I'm Emilio Magnucci and I'm here with Rocco Rhino. Today we're going to teach you about the basics of cheese, a little bit about the five families of cheese, some cheese makers, some quick tips on cheese, and how to eat it. All right, Rock, let's break it down for him. the families of cheese. All of these cheeses out here, they fit into a couple families. The first one is fresh. And then you have the soft ripened. Yep, that includes bloomy rinds and washed rinds. That's correct. Then we have the semi-soft. Yep, semi-soft, a little bit squishy. And then firm and hard, that's one category. All right, firm and hard. Then the blue. The saddest family of them all. <laughs> that certainly is. Cheese families is really based on the textures. But there are other ways to um, discern the differences within cheeses like milk type. Yeah, how you make the cheese really determines the texture, but you can use milk from cows, which is most of them, sheep, goats, buffaloes, yaks. Have you ever had yaks? I did, it's terrible. Who told us to say yaks? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> um, but rennet, rennet's another way to segregate cheese or to talk about the different styles of cheese. Yeah, so traditionally the first rennet was uh, was calves lining, the stomach of a, a calf or a goat or a sheep. And that's called one. traditional rennet. Yeah, right? that's, that's traditional right. rennet. Then you so have then you have thistle rennet, which is a vegetarian rennet that right. comes from the cardoon thistle, mm -hmm. uh, and then you have microbial rennet, which was made in a lab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we talked about the different milk types, the raw versus pasteurized, um, rennet. What does, what, what does rennet do so uh, in milk? Rennet is important to coagulate the milk. It's how you go from milk to cheese. To cheese, right? And yeah. so it separates the curds from the whey. Yeah. Little Miss Muffet. Aww. <laughs> so um, I don't know about you, Rock. But I'm lactose intolerant. I'm lactose intolerant too. And I eat a lot of cheese. I eat a lot of cheese too, but it's okay. How is that? Well, when you're making really good cheese, most of the lactose goes away in the process of making the cheese. That's right. 